like in a never-ending line, this railway track seems to go on and on and on. But this particular one leads straight to the central business district of the Greater Accra region and goes all the way back to Tema. Now it forms part of the Eastern Railway Line of this country. Everything is intact here in Accra, but that is not the case everywhere else. When you go to the Eastern region and the Ashanti region, many of these railway tracks have been stolen. But how does the ministry plan on curbing the kanka, which is plaguing the railway sector? I went to the ministry to find answers. What we are saying is that we can still put to use the most expensive component of the lines, which is the line itself made up of steel. And that's what people have started removing. The idea is that it's possible when we finish with the new line based on the standard gauge which we're currently constructing, we can decide to, as it were, uh, realign it and open it up and use the same ray track. Uh, maybe the cost may not be the same, but at least we can save some material and use it as a parallel line along the current one that we're developing. And more so, even if we are not, we can still salvage that, and uh, I'm sorry, salvage that uh, maybe um, sell it up or, like I said, reduce it. And uh, when we do that, we may be redeveloping our lines at a reduced cost, at least some element, some cost element, uh, out of the new cost build-up can be taken aside, you understand, because the rail lines, is, uh, they do not worn out quickly. We can still use them. So um, what is happening is that uh, things normally go along the lines with uh, gas welding machines, the ones that electricians use. They normally go there and they uh, cut the lines. They use the welding machine to cut them into pieces. One track or one line of a rail is about 40 feet. And it will be difficult for them without a forklift to lift it up. So what they do is that they use these gas welding machines to cut them into maybe eight feet, eight feet, or ten feet, or ten feet, depending on the ability to lift. And they put them in truck and go about selling them. The existing Eastern Railway line links Accra to Kumasi with a branch line from Achimota to Temaport. The total length of the line is 303 kilometers. Following years of neglect by successive governments, large portions of the existing narrow gauge line were not operational with the exception of the Accra to Tema and Accra to Insawam sections which are used to provide passenger commuter rail services on the respective corridors. The ministry, through the Ghana Railway Company Limited, in December 2019, completed the rehabilitation of the 33-kilometer section of the narrow-gauge Eastern Railway line from Achimota to Insawam. This enabled the resumption of sub-urban passenger rail services from Accra to Insawam on 2nd March 2020, before the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic in Ghana. Due to the pandemic, all passenger rail services across the country have been suspended since 24th March 2020. But in moving away from Accra towards the middle belt, the railway tracks seem abandoned, giving rise to theft cases. The Deputy Sector Minister, Kweku Asante Boating, however, says plans are far advanced to operationalize the railway by 2022. Um, we have received our feasibility studies and uh, we're working on the giving an award or contract to uh, some uh, investors to undertake the construction of the new line through Bososo, uh, through Buankra to Kumasi. And maybe within the year or early part of next year, we see proper reconstruction along the eastern line as well. 
The plan is to develop the Eastern Railway Line on a new standard gauge from Tema Port through an inland port at Boankwa and it will terminate at Kumase. A new branch line from Bususu to Chebi is also to be developed as part of the project. As the theft of the old tracks continues, the ministry says it will continue to use all means to clamp down on the culprits, including consultations with steel companies who buy the stolen products. The Ministry of Railway Development is the sole owner, asset owner, of railway materials. If I say railway materials, I mean the slippers and the lines, that, those two components. No individual can owe any of such assets. So if uh, someone comes to call you that you should come and assist him as a drug driver to convey any of such assets, you should know that they are stolen items. And if need be, you should refrain from carrying those stolen goods. Because if we apprehend them, you as the driver cannot go scot-free. Because you should know that that person does not own that particular asset. It's the asset of the state. And they are stolen items. And I want the general public to be aware of that. They are all stolen items. So I will appeal to truck drivers and truck owners to talk to their drivers. And the drivers also should be aware that all those goods relating to railway development and its assets, if anybody asks you to carry it, they are all stolen items and they should not. So if they also can collaborate with the police and with us, they can even assist the more by giving sensitive information to us. We also realize that uh, when these people steal and sell uh, these items as crap, they finally end up with these steel companies, unless somewhere on the Flower Road, Atema, and other locations. We intend to also collaborate with them, say that when they bring the items, they will not buy And we, We've seen how best we can collaborate with them going forward. No matter how abandoned, no matter how vast the railway tracks anywhere in the country looks like, the government says it has plans for it, plans to rehabilitate the entire sector to move transportation pressure from the roads onto the tracks. That is why it is hopeful that it will be able to nip this canker of railway tracks theft in the bud. Reporting for City News, I am Niyama Ama.